welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. I have a really fun video planned for today. We're gonna be testing out Amazon cleaning gadgets. So some of these are brand new and I ordered them and I'm gonna be testing them out the first time with you guys. And then others I've been using for months and loving them and I just wanna share them with you. So if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. And now let's get into today's video. Okay, this first product came in a two pack, but you can buy it individually, but I wanted to test both of them out. It's a microwave cleaner angry mom and a fridge odor absorbing cool mom. So I'm gonna start off with the Cool Mom first. Basically, all you need to go along with the Cool Mom is your baking soda. You probably already have this in your refrigerator. And so basically, it's just a cuter way to have your baking soda out in your refrigerator versus just the box. So all you do is take off her head or her hair and fill it up and then put her hair back on and stick it in your fridge. I wanted to let you guys know, I'm gonna have all of this listed down below in my Amazon store. So you can just click on that link. I am an affiliate with them. so I I will make a portion if you guys choose to buy anything. It does have this cool feature where you can set the month that you need to go ahead and switch it so you don't forget and it gets old in there. So that was pretty cool. So I'm just gonna stick it in my fridge and I'll show you what it looks like right here. Now we're gonna move on to the angry mom and she looks angry and she also comes with this rag. So once you're done using her, you can use the rag to wipe it out. I didn't find it to be anything special. You can just use one of your rags you have at home if you need to, but her hair just comes off and then you can go ahead and fill her up. There is a water line and you can add um, vinegar to this. I chose to use my lemon essential oil just cause I like the way it smells and that's typically what I use when I'm cleaning my microwave anyways, but it's totally up to you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick her in the microwave. It says five to eight minutes. I will say I did um, five minutes and I probably should have done it a little bit longer if you wanna scrub less is hard, but it did work well. Um, her head kind of steams if you can watch in there why it's going. I'm showing you real quickly just a before so you can see kind of how dirty it was and then you can see the after here in a little bit. I feel like she did really well. Um, it's a fun way to clean if you just wanna clean with your kids and have something fun or different to do. However, I normally just use like a glass of water and kind of do the same thing and it works just as well. So neither one of these are like necessity that you have to have. Obviously there's different ways around it, but it is fun and just like something neat maybe to do with your kids. I do wanna mention that when you pull her out, she is hot from steaming, and so you're supposed to grab her by the arms, and then I just went and put her in my sink until she cooled off, but it did work really well. If you're interested in trying either of these, like I said, I have it down below in my Amazon store, and they are individual if you're just wanting to try one of them, but I was really happy with the results. I'll show you right now how it turned out. Okay, now we're gonna move on to this pet paw cleaner and I was so excited to try this. Um, it also comes with a rag as well. I thought it was neat. A lot of these products came with like all the supplies you're gonna need, but here's the container that comes in the box and basically all you do is fill it with water and you're gonna stick their paw in and out and those little things in there will actually clean off the dirt. And let me tell you, George is the one to test this on. We clean his paws every single time he comes in our house. It's just been so rainy and wet here and he gets so muddy and stinky and those white paws turn brown. So I'm gonna show you real quickly how to use it. I decided to use like warm water, not super hot on him, but I didn't want it to be cold. And I just filled it up and then I'm gonna call him in so we can test this out together. Okay, his paws definitely weren't as bad as they normally are, but if you could tell the bottom of them were solid brown from mud. And you can see, I'm just dipping his paw in there and rubbing it up and down. And then you do need to kind of squeeze it off the paw while it's still over the cup because I did it on the floor and, it, well, his paws holds a lot of water. I don't know if your dog's does, but I'm just gonna show you again. You just put it in there, rub it up and down and squeeze it. And then you can take their towel or another towel, it doesn't matter, to dry them off. I was super impressed with this product. I'm 
super happy with it. You can see how dirty the water was just from a few of his paws. So if you have a pet in your home and you're constantly cleaning out their paws, I highly, highly recommend this product. And the boys did good, so I went ahead and gave both of them a treat. <laughs> Now on to the next product, and if you guys have been with me just a little while, you have seen me use these multiple times because I absolutely love them. So these are just brushes you attach to a drill if your husband or your boyfriend or you power women already have them. Um, all they do is hook on, so you're gonna need the drill, and then I like to use some type of cleaner. Um, I'm gonna show you using these on my stove because that's where I use them most. I'm not a great cook, and so when I do cook, I don't do it well, <laughs> so I always make a mess, and I feel like these glass tops are really hard to clean if you don't have the right tools, but ever since I bought these brushes, it has been a complete game changer. So I'm gonna show you how I do it, but I also wanna let you know you can use these anywhere. We use these in our showers, and our bathtubs. Um, it just takes all the elbow grease out of things, so if you're like older and just can't scrub or can't get down real low and keep scrubbing, this has so much power because it's on your power tool. So I'm gonna show you here in a second how it works. Okay, but back to the stove real fast. When I put down my cleaner, I like to take a paper towel and go ahead and smooth it out. This can a splatter if you leave it all thick just because it's spinning so fast. So I've just learned a little tip is to go ahead and smooth it out. But right here, I'm showing you how fast this drill works. So like I mentioned before, it just takes out all that elbow grease. What you could spend hours scrubbing, this just takes seconds. So I know I'm gonna get the question, does it scratch your stove? I have been using this multiple times and it has never scratched my stove, it has never scratched my bathtub. Anywhere I've used it, you can even use it on tile with your grout lines. Oh, and somebody else used um, this, it was a subscriber sent me a message to use it on the bottom of your pots and pans. You know how they get dirty. Um, you can clean them as well. I definitely need to try that out. So these tools can be used for so many different things and there are like a four pack, so you don't have to use the same one like in your kitchen as you do in your bathroom. You can kind of have them spaced out. So like I said, this is a product that's been in my house for many months and I really do love it. Now I'm just grabbing like a glass cleaner just to go ahead and clean that product off my stove and then I will be showing you how it all turned out. Okay, this next product was my very first sponsorship here on YouTube, and I still use this thing and love it. I don't think the same brand's still out there, but I'll link something similar to it. But basically, it's like a small little vacuum, so when you have bugs, you don't have to touch them, you don't have to scoop them up. This was such a game changer um, because I hated touching bugs while Chase was at work, but we live kind of out in the country. So it does have a light on it, just in case you're catching bugs, I guess, at night or maybe in a dark corner. So I'll press that button and show you it's like an LED light so it works really well and then the other button just turns on like I said just this little mini vacuum sound like you would if you're vacuuming the floors and it just sucks it right up it also doesn't require batteries, which I like. You can just plug it in and let it charge up overnight, and then you don't charge it very often at all. I think I've only charged it like three times this entire time I had it, because it's not something you're using all the time and it holds its charge really well. So here I am using it. I didn't actually have any bugs right now. It's winter, but I did suck up some like spider webs or dust, and it really is pretty powerful just for what it is. And then when you're done, you can either take that bug outside and let it go you know, in your backyard, or or if it's just dust like I have, you can just take the little top off and dump it into your trash can. Okay, now we're gonna talk about this quick and clean. I was so excited to test this out on our coffee pot. I know I never remember to clean our coffee pot or we forget or we don't know how. So on Amazon, you can just order these pods that just look like your coffee pods that you stick in and it cleans it. So this was such a great invention. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my coffee pot on so it can start warming up because basically you're just gonna make a cup of coffee, but instead of the coffee, you're gonna use one of these cleaning pods. 
I did notice my coffee pot was so dirty. This white is so much harder to keep clean than the black, but I still love it, but keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting a white one. Um, and then basically you're just gonna go ahead and take your old coffee pot out and put the new cleaning one in, and then you're just gonna put it on the largest cup setting that you have and let it run. Once it's finished, you're just gonna dump that cup into the sink. I wanted to show you real quickly how dirty it was. You can tell by the color of it, it's not clear and you can see all those little black spots in it. So like I said, I'm just gonna dump it in the sink, but it wants you to go ahead and run it one more time. But this time you're gonna take out that quick and clean pod and just run it without a pod in it at all. So you're just gonna hit that same setting, the large cup, and this basically just rinses it all out. Now let's talk silicone sponges because I get questions all the time about these. I feel like you love them or you hate them and I think it's just on what you're going to use them for. So I'm going to share with you the things I like using them on and the things I don't. Okay, while I show you some clips of me cleaning with them, I'm just going to kind of talk it out and tell you why or why not that I like them. Um, on coffee mugs and stuff like that, I feel like it works okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Now, when it comes to my sink, I do not like it at all. I don't like the way it feels. I don't like the way it sounds and it does not clean off as well. I had so much buildup on my sink when I just used these for a straight week. It was not cleaning them at all. Now, the thing I do love these silicone sponges is on like messy, sticky food. So spaghettis, cheeses. I use this on queso cheese and spaghetti the most. Like those things that normally ruin your sponges that you can only clean things once and then you have to trash them. It is amazing to use the silicone sponge because it cleans out so easily. So you can clean off a spaghetti sauce on a plate and then just rinse out your sponge and it's brand new. So I definitely keep these in my house for those reasons. I don't use them all the time, but for foods that are messy that you're just going to waste the sponge on, I think it's perfect. Okay, and then the last product is like my broom holder or mop holder. I always get tons of questions about this when I show you guys my laundry room. I've had this one for many, many moons, and so I don't know if I'll find the exact one, but I'll link you a few options in my Amazon store because there are so many to choose from. You can pick one that you like best. But basically, it just keeps your mops off the ground or behind doors when they're falling and sliding. It just kind of puts more order to things. I feel like when things have a home and they're easy to access, you're just more likely to clean. So this is just a super easy way. You could stick it out in the garage. You could stick it in a closet. Um, I have it in my laundry room, but I'll just show you real quickly how it works. It's just super simple and easy to do, and it keeps everything looking nice and tidy. Okay guys, and that is it. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Definitely let me know down below in the comments section which gadget was your favorite to watch and if you'll be ordering any of them. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And once again, if you're new here, just click on both of these to get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.